But first, News Nation correspondent Brian Enton live outside the laundry home for us once again tonight in Florida with the very latest. Brian. Marnie, there were protesters outside the house all day today, but it is very quiet tonight. And it's also quiet at the reserve, at the swamp. A limited search happening now there. We're not seeing the massive search operation that we saw the last several days. Many people now wondering. Was that search at the swamp a waste of time? Could Brian Laundry be in a totally different place tonight? Gabby Petito's family is devastated. They want answers. They want answers now. This is what Brian Laundry's parents woke up to this morning. Because of what your son did. And it did not stop all day long. Protesters trying to send a message. This is really the only activity we've seen. Meanwhile, the search at the 24,000 acre Carlton Reserve continues, but police say it is now scaled back and targeted based on intelligence. Flooding really is one of the biggest issues with the search right now at the reserve. Take a look. This is one of the roads into the reserve, totally covered in water. There's really no way to drive in. Uh, the only way to search this area would be by helicopter or with a swamp buggy. Over the weekend, the FBI showed back up to the laundry house. According to their attorney, they requested personal items belonging to Brian to assist them with DNA matching. Today, their attorney released a new statement saying, Chris and Roberta Laundry do not know where Brian is. They are concerned about Brian and hope the FBI can locate him. The speculation by the public and some in the press that the parents assisted Brian in leaving the family home or in avoiding arrest on a warrant that was issued after Brian had already been missing for several days is just wrong. Reality star Dog the Bounty Hunter was also at the Laundry's house and says he is now working the case. Can you tell us why you're here, sir? Well, really? No, come on. You know, okay? Aloha, guys. Thank you. And tonight, Dog the Bounty Hunter says he has a new lead. He says it is a very good lead, about 75 miles from here at a campground where he says Brian Laundry and his parents have been. He says he's turning all of that information over to the FBI. Marnie? Lots of eyes on this case, Brian. As far as that new DNA sample taken from the house, do we know what the FBI could be using that for? I'm told there's two possibilities. Number one, they could be using it to match up with something from Gabby's autopsy, perhaps a DNA under her fingernails. Number two, we're told they may have found an item of Brian's perhaps in the reserve, and they're trying to see if his DNA is on it. Also caught our attention today, Brian, Gabby Petito's family now saying they're going to be talking to the media tomorrow. They haven't done so uh, since her remains were found. Any indication of what they might say? Well, Gabby Petito's memorial was, of course, uh, yesterday. Her family said that they wouldn't speak out until she was brought back home. Uh, we don't know exactly what they plan to talk about, but perhaps they want to uh, revitalize this search, this manhunt uh, for Brian Laundry.